as long time no see. Let's just jump into it. So first things first, uh, life update, midterms. It's, uh, it's midterm week. Midterm uh, for the next two weeks actually, because I'm taking classes at another college that's like way down south Mississippi and it's online and they're spread out over two weeks. So that's good because it gives me a little extra time to like study for them, but it stretches my stress out <laughs> over two weeks. So I'm just putting that on here so you know why you might not get videos for the next two weeks because I'm gonna be stressed. <laughs> I joined the gym. That doesn't mean that I'm not gonna be still doing my at-home workouts because I really enjoy that and I've invested in it. And it's something that I'm gonna do kind of more for recovery days and for athleticism and functional strength since I've got the kettlebells here and the gym that I joined is a little more bodybuilding oriented and a little more, a little more strength and bodybuilding oriented. A lot of machines there. Hopefully I, I get to post uh, some videos about that. I'll do some full workouts, leg day, chest day, back day, things like that. And it, it, essentially I joined that because I like it. <laughs> also, if anybody wants to see any sort of specific training or like beginner training, uh, any volume training, strength training, I want to build a series. I want to make something that people can follow along with and maybe they can figure out what they like and it'll help change their lives and make them happier, healthier people. Um, the, the videos I've made so far has kind of just been almost a workout vlog of me getting back into it and you know hopefully that's inspirational on some level but at the same time I I think it would be better for other people if I could build something, build a series that people could follow and maybe start taking their steps towards, towards their success and towards them being happier. So if anybody has any recommendations or, or requests or whatever, put them down below and I'm going to try to make them happen for you unless it involves a lot of running because I'm just not going to do that. Finally, we're going to jump into the workout starting with the apartment gym. Let's go. Here we go, guys. It's good to be back. Sorry I was gone so long. Uh, this is Sam, my good friend. Comes in town every once in a while, and we uh, we do some workouts. On this day, we did some calisthenics. Um, we're doing some tricep dips here. We need 100 of, of each of these different exercises. So 100 tricep dips, uh, 100 pull-ups like you, you, you can see here. Um, we did 100 leg raises, I think I've got a video of later. We also did 100 push-ups and 100 lunges. Um, I don't think I've got video of the push-ups and lunges, but uh, we did them. Just trust me on that. We did 100 of them, 100 of each. Uh, this workout took kind of a while. It was a nice day out. Uh, this is like a month ago or a little more. Um, here's some of the leg raises. So uh, while we're on the leg raises, you know, this is one way you can do them. Or you could hang on the pull-up bar like I was before and raise your legs like that. So just whichever. And we were kind of just switching up. Or I was. I think Sam did all of his like sort of in the pull-up position. But um, we were switching these up some and uh, just kind of trying to get them done when we got tired. So this is the gym I was talking about that I joined. Um, this exercise here, these are called sissy, sissy squats because uh, you can't really hold a lot of weight and uh, it doesn't look like you're doing much, but this is really hard just because of the angle and how you can like really lean back on your legs. Uh, you can get back really far. It'll really hit the glutes well. You can, uh, you can lean even further back and put more emphasis on the quads. I really like these. I love warming up with these. I love finishing squats with these. Uh, it's just, man, these are really good for your legs. I like them a lot. Holding that weight in front is good for your core, like I'm doing here. I'm just holding a, just a plate. This is one of the machines they have. This is called a pendulum squat. Uh, swings like a pendulum and is really, really hard. Uh, it's It's got a unique feel to it. 
I think uh, I felt it a lot on the outside of my legs, and I was already tired. I had done done squats. Uh, as you can see there, I'm kind of like having to push myself back up from these. I was trying to control going down and then just come back up. But uh, anyway, yeah, this is a really cool gym. Leg press here. I don't know how many of these I did. This is actually on my 30th birthday, uh, this workout is. So, like a month ago. <laughs> I've had these videos for a while, man. I just got so busy with the midterms and work and all that. But, uh, yeah, man. Leg press. Love me some leg press. All right, so here we got some ham curls. I think a lot of the time uh, on leg day, the hamstrings maybe get neglected or people will only do deadlifts, which I believe is more of a back exercise. I mean, it's a full posterior chain sort of movement, but... Uh, Always a good thing to, to hit the hamstrings here. Um, with this exercise, I, I like how you could, you're, this is a standing variant, right? So you're actually flexing the glutes too. Um, so you're, you're kind of getting a little more bang for your buck here. There's variants where you're laying down with this type of machine. And uh, I, I feel like the standing is a bit superior, especially when you can get one leg at a time. All right. Adductors. Guys don't do this because, I mean, look at it. That doesn't look masculine at all. But uh, you could stand to benefit a lot from this in a lot of different ways. Uh, especially on leg day, it will bring your squat up. Um, it will make your core stronger. It's, it's just so good for you overall. You need to be doing this. Uh, you work your glute a lot. You don't want it to become too powerful, and this is sort of the antagonist to that. You need to be doing that. Uh, then it looks like I, I moved over here to the calf raises. They got this calf raise machine that pushes the weight down on your shoulders there. You just kind of hang off. And you just raise on your calf. With, with your calf. Pretty cool. And that's it today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Right, um, I think I got a few words after watching. this. I'm sorry this took so Keep long. Watching. I've got some more coming. Um, maybe a lot more coming here pretty soon. Um, let me finish this semester of school. I've almost got my first degree. So as soon as I get done with that, uh, I'm going to be taking some time to really focus on this and build a series. If there's a series you want to see, please tell me below. Leave a comment, um, and I'm going to make it happen for you. Um, if you ever have any kind of nutrition questions or anything like that, feel free to message me directly, or you can leave a comment, and I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability. Um, that's it. If you're enjoying this, like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.